What's going on everybody? This is Ernie with CGS and right here we're going to do the Lost Legacy quest. Uh, we picked this quest up. I got it right as uh, right after I turned in the blacksmith quest in uh, Skull Village. Um, and I was only able to turn that quest in once I had killed Merak. Uh, before I had killed Merak, I wasn't able to uh, turn it in at all. So uh, keep that in mind if you're having trouble turning that one in. That's what happened for me. I don't know if that's uh, uh, how it goes or if I was bugged out or if that's a, like exactly how it's supposed to go. So anyways, uh, as soon as I turned that in, this, uh, this old man approached me and he asked for help. Uh, in uh, in this tomb and it's uh, it's called lost legacy and when you agree to he wants to meet uh, agree to the quest he wants to meet you at uh, Valak's tomb now in this tomb uh, you get an entire shout you get all three words of an entire shout uh, and it's fucking badass so and it, the shout is called um, uh, oh shit what's it called like battle fury I think it's called all right, so when you enter the tomb with this old man, uh, he reads this pedestal, and on the pedestal it has a riddle. It says uh, you need to sacri you need to present a sacrifice in order to get closer to what you seek. So uh, apparently you can either kill the old man that you're here with, uh, but I don't recommend doing that because there's a lot of puzzles that he actually helps you out with. So when I pulled the lever, I saw that this was a trap door here over the fire. And what I did was I dragged it. In the room, there's like uh, four or five dead Draugr. And I pulled his body over that, uh, that thing, the grate. And once that happened, uh, to the right and to the left of you, there are doorways. See the doorway up top and see the doorway over there? The, those are closed off. Um, once you drag one of these dead Draugr over it and put it in... Uh, release that trap door uh, it opens both of those uh, cages now this center cage you need to complete the puzzles in uh, both left and right uh, through left and right doors in order to open that so uh, I chose to go uh, the left direction first and uh, and of course he'll follow you the entire time now uh, there are puzzles throughout this whole area uh, well each each side has a puzzle so, what, uh, I kept the guy alive, I would have felt bad if I killed him. I'm, uh, I guess I'm, I'm a, I'm a gamer with a conscience. I don't like killing the innocent people. There are people that will like, go in town and, like, kill everybody in the town. I can't do that. I get, uh, I start feeling bad about doing things like that. <laughs> but, uh, be careful, because there are, uh, there are Draugr that are asleep in these catacombs. And, uh. That's why I like uh, using the bow. You can take them out before they even see you. But uh, once I killed that first one, a bunch more started uh, sprouting up. So uh, we take these dudes out. Again, I'm so good at archery. I learned, uh, I learned it at the Cub Scouts. That's where I learned my technique. Alright, so once you clear these dudes out... Now here I uh, edited that because I went and collected my arrows. Uh, there are obviously there are more of these dudes. Uh, this puzzle, uh, if I remember correctly, I think it's like a room that has, uh, or well, we're coming up on it. Yeah, I, I am right. It's this room that has, uh, it's got a picture of a, um, there's a sword on one tablet, there's a staff on another tablet, and there's a, a bow and arrow on another tablet. So basically what you have to do is uh, he'll read this little uh, poem here. This is kind of why you need him. Well, I mean, you don't need him to figure out some of the stuff, but uh, there was one puzzle that you did kind of need his. You did need his help, uh, or it would have taken you a long time. See how there's a staff on that one. There's a sword right here in front of me, and on the other one, there's a bow. And each one has a picture of which weapon it is. Directly across from each one of these is uh, a little pedestal with a stone on top of it. So. Um, the bow and arrow stone and he says oh these are these are called impact stones so as soon as he said that and he says it right here he says that they're impact stones I already had a bow in my hand so I turned to the impact stone that's across from the bow and arrow and I shot an arrow at it and it activated that pedestal so uh, 
what then what I did is I pulled out my sword and I hit the uh, the one that's across from the picture of the sword. And then I didn't have a staff on me, so I used the one that was in the room. And then uh, you use that staff on the um, on the other one, and it opens that door. And actually, right through that door is uh, is your first word. This is actually a fairly quick quest. It, I uh, it well, it was for me anyhow. Um, I didn't uh, I didn't really fuck around too much in here. Uh, the longest part of the quest is the third part. Uh, the second, uh, what's it called? Um, like right here, I took uh, I took a, a left. Uh, the puzzle through the right door. I actually did that puzzle before this uh, before he even got in the room, because I recognized what it was. Uh, one of the unearthed um, uh, phases. I think it was like phase three of unearthed or phase two of unearthed where you have to walk over the pressure plates it was that same puzzle so i i ran over the pressure plates and it opened the door uh before he even got into the room so uh when you come in here there's a uh, death lord and a couple of those uh draugr minions now <clears throat> the old man oh and uh always search uh search like the boss in the room so this one in this case it would be the death lord he's got half of a key uh, and you need both halves. Uh, when you approach this wall, the old man starts giving you lore about what's going on. And he actually starts giving you the backstory of Mirak and what he, uh, how he, uh, became a traitor. And the, this is the tomb of the person that um, was trying to stop Mirak the first time and, and uh, failed. Because uh, apparently Merak was a dragon priest, which is, that's pretty cool. Alright, so now we went back to the main chamber, uh, and now I'm heading through the door that was uh, on the right. And I ended up, uh, it took a long time for that old man to catch up to me, and I kind of was like waiting for him. So, it was kind of, that's why I don't like having like followers and shit, because they always fucking either get in the way, or they, uh, they take a long time to reach you or whatever, like especially if you run ahead of them. But uh, this guy wasn't so, so bad. Uh, it was just right here where I had to fucking kind of sit around and wait for him. But all right, so I, I went into this room. I got sick of waiting for him. And uh, when I got up where the pedestal is, right behind it is where the... Uh, the uh, see, he's finally catching up. I, I saw the plates on the floor. And, oh yeah, I also tried reading it, and this is kind of why you need him, because you can't read the writing, but he can. But I saw the pressure plates, and I was like, fuck it. So I did the exact same thing I did uh, in that unearthed uh, phase, was I walked forward on the first ones, backwards over the second ones, and forward on the third ones, and it opened the gates. Once the gates are open, uh, again, there are more of those uh, Draugr come out, and there's a Death Lord that shows up. Uh, what was funny here is they all started chasing him. They couldn't, uh, they didn't see me. <laughs> Which was fucking awesome. But, uh, so take these dudes out, search that, dr uh, that Death Lord again, because he has the second half of the claw key. Now, that claw key, uh, it's, it's different than the ones in the original, uh, Skyrim release, where they, you know how you search the key and it shows you, like, the combination for the door on the bottom of the key? This key does not have that. The old man will actually, he'll read the inscriptions on the wall, and he'll tell you what, uh, he'll tell you which, uh, uh, combination you need. Again, right here, he'll give a little bit more lore. He'll read the, uh, the wall. So I didn't go up and read, uh, get the word right away, because I wanted to hear what he said. But again, he goes, he gets a little deeper into the whole story of Mirak and the Dragon Priests and uh, how he, like, betrayed them and stuff like that. So, uh, but once he's done talking, I'll go collect this word. Here we go. Yeah, it is called Battle Fury. I haven't actually used it yet, so I don't know exactly what it does. But, uh... What I thought was cool was that you got the uh, you got the whole shout in this one place. All right, so right here you're gonna take each half of the key and put it in both of these stones, and that opens this door. 
and uh, right in that pedestal, well, I turned around, but uh, that pedestal that's through that cage, because I was waiting for this dude to get here. He was taking fucking forever. Again. <laughs> but uh, right here, okay, so he'll, uh, I activate this switch right here, and it, it creates like a magical bridge. And you have to, it, it like, it goes away. So you have to cross it as it's going. I didn't know that at first. I, I made through every bridge on my first try. But uh, the old man will start talking to you and telling you how what's happening. Because you're not really paying attention to what's happening behind you. As soon as you get all the way across, it uh, the bridge appears for the old man to follow you. Now, uh, with each one of these, the bridge gets faster and faster. So with, like, the last one, as soon as, like, the second piece uh, shows up, uh, you've got to get on it because the piece that you're standing on will, uh, will disappear. Uh, and I figured I'd clear these guys out in case I fell. There's, like, a bunch of there's shades down there. And all the doors up here are locked. Um, they're barred from the other side. So that means if you fall... Uh, I'm assuming there's a stairway down there that will lead you back up to that room. So just follow the bridge, but try to be uh, quick because the uh, the piece behind you, see how the rest of the bridge has disappeared? It it does uh, disappear on you, so you gotta you know take your time. And again, each time I got up to that doorway, uh, I was taking out those shades. See how it says doors barred from the outside. Uh, I shot I shot all the shades in case I fell so I wouldn't have to deal with them while I was down there if if I fell I never fell I I didn't fall but I did it just in case then I tried shooting this down but that didn't work out very well <laughs> can't pull a Robin Hood on this one all right so you pull the uh, the lever on the pedestal and uh, see how it's going faster this time each time it'll go faster and faster and faster and you gotta pay attention because it'll the each uh, platform will appear sporadically it doesn't uh, it do, it's not just like a straight line to where you're going and see how I only had one platform by the time I got through the door <coughs> so it does uh, each time it goes faster so it's a little more difficult and I believe this is the last one and uh like, I kept checking these doors. But I believe this is the last one, and it's the fastest one as well. So, keep that in mind when you're in here. It can be a... Fuck, I'm sure it can be a pain in the ass. I lucked out and was able to do uh, each one on my first try, which was cool. So, all right. All the shades are taken care of down there in case they fall. And here we go. And this time I actually had to use, like, uh, my sprinting and shit like that. By the time I get across, they're all gone. See? <laughs> like, so, I'm glad I decided to sprint across that one. And the old man, he'll tell you, too. He'll be like, you know, this one's going a lot faster. You gotta hurry up. And So he's pretty cool. But, all right, right here, this is um, where we need to... Uh, we, you actually need him for this one because he'll... I was standing at the door trying to figure it out, and I was like looking at the key. Well, really, he's got to read the inscription on the door, or on the wall, I should say, and that'll tell you which one you need to, uh, which ones you need. And he gives you hints to each one. So, uh, the uh, let's see, yeah, the second one's a wolf. The first one is a dragon, or sorry, the the middle one is a wolf. The third one is the dragon, and the top one is the bird. So it's bird, wolf, dragon. And then you uh, use your two halves of the key, and it opens the door for you. Bird, wolf, dragon. And the clues are kind of like, one of them didn't really make, I don't know, the first one, it was like, something to do with the air, he says. And I was like, the air. But, uh... So I guess, you know, obviously that's the bird, but at the time I was like, that didn't really tell you anything. Alright, so when you get in here, um, I noticed something in here as well, but when you get in here, there's a dragon priest uh, that you gotta fight. 
But see how there's all these pressure plates on the floor? Uh, I can't activate traps. Uh, my, uh, one of my perks doesn't allow me to... I can stand on a trap and it won't activate. I think these are fucking traps, dude. Because they, they're not like those, um... They're not like the ones that, uh, light up when you go over them. So, I'm pretty sure these are traps. And they didn't, uh... They didn't go off for me. Now I saw I was like, oh sweet, there's a dragon priest. But he's got no mask. It's fucking kind of bullshit. I wish he had one. But no mask on that guy. I even checked his little, uh... See, like I checked his tomb here. To see if there was one in there. And then the chest. And there's no mask in here. It sucks. But again, he'll read some more of that. And tell you more of the lore of uh, Mirak and shit. And uh, then you learn your third word. And now you have the entire shout of Battle Fury. And uh, that's pretty much that. Uh, again, I checked all those... Um, I checked all those pressure plates and nothing was happening. So I'm assuming those are traps because uh, they didn't uh, they didn't set off. No, nothing happened when I stood on them. So I'm assuming they're traps since I can't set them off. So... Uh, once you're done, uh, once you get your word, talk to him one more time, and then that'll complete the quest, and uh, he'll give you like a thousand bucks on top of all the other shit that you got. So uh, I hope it helped. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and stick around because we got a whole lot more coming. Have a good one, guys.